Hello again. Today I'm going to do two cameras which are almost identical. Uh, these are the Kodak 66 Model 2 and Model 3. They were made in uh, the UK for the UK market between 1958 and 1960 and they're uh, roll film cameras. They take 120 film. Uh, this is the Model 2 and uh, the two cameras are identical except for the, the lens and the shutter. So I'll show you the, the two first. It's um, it's a real nice camera. I, I, I like these cameras a lot. They, they take really nice pictures. My heat just went on. You can hear that. Uh, so there, so you can see that it says Kodak 66 Model 2 Camera. They're lightweight. They are not range finders. They just have a viewfinder, so you have to do your um, you have to do your focusing by the distance or zone focusing. The lens opens, or actually the the folding part opens by pressing this silver button here. Pops open. This is a, a camera that you have to cock the shutter manually, but it has a uh, a button shutter release here. The uh, Model 2 has a Kodak Aniston f6.3 75mm lens and it has a Vario 3 speed shutter. So, <clears throat> uh, the shutter speeds on the shutter speed dial are one, a 200th, a 75th of a second, a 25th of a second and bulb, B for bulb, right there. <clears throat> and uh, these cameras, uh, you know, they, they use a, a like a view camera, kind of a shutter and, and lens. Uh, it has a, the typical shutter cocking mechanism. And then there's also, if you press down here, it'll fire the shutter. There's a linkage. You, I don't know if you can see that. Right there. When you press the button, it actuates a series of levers that basically just press up against that shutter release on the on the shutter. Um, this camera does focus by turning this here and. According to the markings on the lens, it goes from infinity, obviously, to down to three and a half feet. It's actually a little bit less than three and a half feet, <clears throat> and it does have um, it does have depth of field markings on the lens. So you can see here, it goes from f twenty-two to infinity. On here, you can see the aperture settings right here. They go from f6.8 to f22. Close this by just depressing these two arms here and then closing the lid. Extending it till it clicks. 
there's a uh, a, a, a port for uh, flash here. <coughs> Back opens like this, and you can see here's your take up reel over here, and this is where the roll film goes here. You just pull up on this, just insert the roll, <coughs> and you're in. So you can pull up on this knob here. And twist it a little bit, it'll stay open like that. Put the next roll of film in, and then that holds in place. And you would obviously take up real goes. So, as you can see, it says here load with Kodak 120 film. See, it doesn't work with anybody, anybody else's 120 film, of course. It's ridiculous. Uh, so, that's the Model 2. Model 3, I have a case for. Uh, it's kind of a weird case, though. <coughs> It has these, I think they're metal things on the side. Uh, so you you open this up here, and then you got to kind of pull up on it like that, and then it'll swing down. But it's weird because the get strap gets in the way, so you got to kind of go this way like that. So it kind of dangles down there. And this case didn't have a strap. This is one of those things where the strap is on the on the case and not on the camera itself. And there's no place to put the strap on the camera. So this didn't these these loops were gone when I got this camera. So I pulled the old stuff out and it was glued in there and whatnot and I got a couple of strips of leather and I kind of glued them in there and then the back of it was kind of rough so I took the tips of some cotton gloves and glued them in here just so it wouldn't chafe the back of the camera and I bought a leather strap on on uh, Amazon I think it was you know it's not exactly the right color but it works fine <clears throat> So this is the Model 3, and as you can see, can't see any differences. Maybe the logo might be a little different. I don't know. But obviously this is a, a 2 and a 3. Other than that, the difference being that, you open up the lens, the lens is a Kodak Aniston f4.5 75 millimeter and it has a five speed Velio shutter but other than that it's the same it's identical um, I think there's there is one other difference and that is it has a uh, double exposure prevention gizmo in there so if I, if I cock the shutter now after having fired it, I can't press the shutter release without advancing the film. Well, there's no film in it, but there you go. <clears throat> and the shutter speeds on this are 200th, 100th, 50th, 25th, a 10th, and uh, bulb. So, um, and then you have f-stops from 4.5 to 22 so it's a faster lens and it has more shutter speeds uh, and because of that I use this one here now I, I assume 
that this little metal tab here is involved, which doesn't exist on this one, is involved in that uh, the double exposure prevention. When you advance the film, that with that withdraws, as you can see there, and then when you fire the shutter, it pops back out again. So you can see it's out there. It's preventing the lever from pressing the the shutter release until you advance this knob, and it withdraws that little metal piece there, and then you can fire the shutter. So. They both have uh, cold shoes on them, and uh, they're quite nice. They they uh, uh, the reason I end up with, with both of them, by the way, I didn't plan on having a two and a three, and I didn't even realize I was getting a two when I got the second camera. I, I wanted a case for this camera, and the, the the way that things are with eBay and film cameras, sometimes cameras are so ex inexpensive that uh, you could do things like that. I said, well, I got this Kodak 66 that I really like and I use it and it doesn't have a case, so maybe I'll look for a case. So I looked around for a case for a while and then, I, you know, after a couple of months of wait, waiting around, there's not that many of these uh, that come up on eBay. <clears throat> and uh, I finally saw one that was very cheap and it had a case. So I figured, well, I'll get that and um, I'll just use the case on this one. And then I, when I found found out that it was a different model, I it was it was a little bit more interesting. But I actually do use this the Model Three and not the Model Two. So I've, I have used it, but I don't nor typically use the th the uh, two. I stick with the three. It's, it's you know it's a it's a faster lens, it's got more shutter speeds. So uh, there you go. There they are, the Kodak 66 two and three models.